Hey you guys, I'm Brian Paul, and it's time for some more PlayStation VR breaking news. First up, on Sunday's episode of PSVR This Week, I reported that the paid DLC that enables PSVR support in Codemasters Dirt Rally didn't work on PS5. And as it turns out, that's not true at all. After hearing that I might have made a mistake, I tried again. I put in the disc, reinstalled the game, downloaded all the updates, and lo and behold, Dirt Rally VR plays perfectly on PlayStation 5, which is fantastic news. And it seems that regardless of whether you transfer the game from your PS4 or you just own the physical disc, the PS5 will recognize that you own the VR DLC. But here's the strange part. The VR DLC is no longer available on the North American PS4 or PS5 PlayStation Store which unfortunately means that if you haven't already purchased the DLC, there's currently no way of getting it, other than hunting down the re-released physical version, the one with the DLC included on disc. Luckily, you can still buy the VR DLC in other regions, such as the UK or Australia, so making an alternate account and rebuying the full game should still work if you're desperate, but it's by no means ideal. We've reached out to Codemasters for any kind of explanation, and when they respond, we'll definitely let you know if there's a better solution in the works. Next up, the long-awaited roguelite Swords of Gargantua finally has a release date on PlayStation VR. The developers are aiming for a worldwide release date of December 8th. Interestingly enough, the PSVR version will retail for $30, which is $5 more than either the Quest or the Steam versions. And although it features online co-op for up to four players, it won't support crossplay with any other existing headset. The good news here is that Swords of Gargantua is the first new PSVR game we've gotten in weeks, and with the launch of the PS5 out of the way, we should be seeing a lot more PSVR games coming soon. Alright you guys, that's all the breaking news I have for you today. But make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all the latest PlayStation VR reviews, Let's Plays, podcasts, and of course breaking news. As always, I'm Brian Paul. And I love you all.